What's going on YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a different type of video than I normally do. I usually do autographs and sports cards on my channel, but today I'm going to actually be doing an unboxing of a Gundam Standard figure. Now, to those people not familiar with what a Gundam Standard figure is, it is a very petite, very articulated figure of several different mobile suits from the Gundam franchise and we got Universal Century mobile suits and we also got some uh, alternative universe mobile suits from the different series now I'm a really big fan of this uh, uh, line of uh, figures these are from Japan these are not really available in the states I used to get a lot of these figures when I would go to Otakon when I would hit up the convention circuit uh, they used to retail I'd still probably retail for around twelve to fifteen dollars, uh, depending on the figure. And I have amassed quite a number of them over the years through going to uh, Otakon uh, because they have a really big dealers room, and you get a lot of variety of different things that pop up in the dealers room. Anyway, these figures are on eBay as well. However, the majority of these figures are international. You'll see nine times out of ten the person selling them is either from Japan or Hong Kong. I'm a little weary of dealing with a non-sports card item uh, overseas because the shipping does take really long. And since it's, it needs to be boxed and everything and it might get dam it's easier to get damaged. Uh, I, I usually stay away from that, so it's real rare that you see someone from the state selling these. Uh, managed to find this figure at Barnes & Nobles. The Barnes & Nobles near me is a Barnes & Noble Superstore, and I was really surprised that they carried these figures, and apparently they're carrying on several import figures from the Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and also uh, Sailor Moon. So I was really, really surprised to see these. Uh, these are a very successful line of figures. I believe this is like series 15 or 16. And uh, the figure here is the Zaku 1, uh, the Black TriStar variant. And this mobile suit's not actually seen in the original series or any series that I know of. Uh, I think it is in one of the manga versions, and I believe in the new OVA coming up, Gundam The Origin, they actually gave the Black Tri-Stars the Zaku 2 for the OVA. I haven't seen it yet. I did pre-order uh, the Blu-ray Collector's Edition, which I'll do another unboxing for when I get that in because it's a very uh, high-priced item. That's $100, so I'm going to really be looking forward to when that comes in. But the packaging is really, really cool. We got it here on the back. Uh, you can see it a little better there uh, if you zoom, if you use the 1080 HP. But here on the back, it goes into detail about the suit. We got the Zaku 1, the black tri star type, uh, the Principality of Xeon, and all the specs. It's not focusing even though I have it on focus. But the bottom here is in Japanese because these are Japanese figures. And on the bottom here they priced it to $9.95 which I was really surprised with. That is a great great price uh, from Barnes & Nobles because like I said these figures usually sell for around 12 to 15 bucks. So, going to crack this open now. Get a chance to see what it looks like. And here it is. Really, really sharp figure. This fell off. This is the scope, I think, on the machine gun here.
I'm actually not entirely sure where that goes. I'll have to check. But here is the figure. Really nice detail. Really nice paint job. There you can see the mini shield with the three star logo. So very, very cool. So this is my first unboxing I did from one of these, and I don't really show figures off in my normal videos. So this is my first time doing one. But like I said, really, really cool figure. Really, really like these guys. Uh, they're more display pieces. They're not actual like, plain toys. Uh, the legs don't move, and there's uh, little articulation in the arms. The shield does pop off and moves around. As you can see, you, know, you can get good poses out of this. I think you can remove the gun as well. But they're mostly for display. And it's a really cool piece. Uh, nice uh, Xeon mobile suit. So there's my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you do see Gundam standard figures and you are into uh, Gundam, I suggest picking them up. They're really, really nice figures and they're relatively very cheap. So thanks guys for watching. Hope everyone out there is doing well and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Thanks guys. Peace.